Namaste, my name is Aditi Sharma and welcome to Physics Hira. We all at times have got stuck in traffic. Imagine what if we get a superpower with which we can cross the buildings, the cars and every single obstacle which comes in between. In that case, I would be never late for my classes, which mostly I am, and my professors would be really happy then. But they're sad, as it happens, but only at the quantum level. Well, yes, I'm talking about quantum tunneling. Our generation like watching the war movies to a great extent. We all have seen at times that the one who has a very rock strong walls of the fort is usually attacked by the others. But since the fort and the kingdom ahead is closed from all the other sides and the walls they are rock strong so this ant like enemy has no chance of making it through. But if the enemy somehow manages to get a secret way as there is always one and if not one then you can dig one then in that case you would be able to get through the walls. Now the enemy has got two choices, either to stay at the fort and fight directly with the king or go ahead towards the kingdom and fight over the citizens, harm them and make the king surrender. And this is actually how quantum tunneling works. Amazed? Well now you would be even more. Tell me something, how will you react if you see someone driving crazily a cycle towards a wall? Definitely you will try to stop, but what if he crosses the wall? Oh no, a ghost, an evil spirit. But because the effect of quantum tunneling is forbidden to the classical world, so don't worry, your ghost encounter won't happen. Now, the point that I am trying to make here is that if you drop a ball down a cliff, then it can reach a maximum of the same height from where it was dropped according to the law of conservation of energy as the kinetic energy of the ball is less than the potential energy of the cliff. But if you give sufficient amount of energy to the ball, then you might get to see it on the other side of the second cliff. But why to put an effort when we can pass with cheating? Dare you do any cheating and blame me later for that. I'm just trying to make a point here. The point here is that even if the ball has a lesser energy than the cliff, it still has chances of popping up on the other side of the second cliff. Anyway or door? No. Quantum tunneling. We know that a matter can behave both like a particle and a wave and in order to understand the quantum tunneling, we are going to consider its wave nature. But why the wave? Well, according to the quantum superposition principle, a particle can occur simultaneously at several locations when an observation is not taken. At a definite point of time, the positions of a particle where it can possibly be is actually represented using a wave function. The square of the amplitude corresponding to the, that particular state shows you the probability of finding the particle at that location. Which means the particle has higher chances of occurring in the regions of higher amplitude as compared to those of the lower amplitude. Which means that if you take a look at the diagram, then the very tiny but the particle has some which is not zero probability of occurring in the cliff and on the other side of the cliff. Now replace both the ball and the cliff with a pair of electrons such that one is at rest and the other one is heading towards it. Now since like charges repel each other which means that the second electron which is at rest would act like something which we call as potential barrier. Now, if we consider our second electron as a rectangular potential barrier and solve the Schrodinger equation corresponding to the first electron, then we get to see that it's an exponential decrease, gradual decrease in its probability of occurring at the different locations. Now, some of you might be thinking that I am weak with my basics as Schrodinger mentioned while talking about the particles and the rectangular barrier, he said that the probability of a particle occurring outside the potential barrier is zero. But don't worry, I'm strong with my basics as some books say that we consider this particular case only because it's the simplest one. Whenever it rains heavily for a longer time, then we get to see damp on the rooftops of the old buildings. Now listen to me carefully, if the rain would have not that been heavier and the roof not that thin, then there would have been no drops. Which means that if the width of the barrier is less and the energy of the wave is high, then it has more chances of popping up on the other side as compared to the one which has a high barrier width. From the Schrodinger equation, we get to see the decay of it exponentially. We all know that light is an electromagnetic wave and we are also familiar with the Maxwell's equations for the same. And we also know that as a ray of light enters from a denser to a rarer medium, then a portion of it is reflected and a portion is refracted. And if we change the material of the medium or the angle of the incident ray, then the portion of the light refracting and reflecting also changes. And at a particular value of the incident ray, 100% of the incident beam goes to the reflected beam. And this is what we call as the total internal refraction, as it is what we were taught in schools, but this is not the 100% truth. Instead of being an abrupt drop-off, there is a quick drop-off, which we call as the avancent wave. If you take a look at the corresponding equation, then the exponential term, it represents the avancent wave. And the graph for e raised to the power negative of x is something like this. 
This decay lasts for a very few wavelengths and it is extremely difficult to detect it. But if we place another such medium sufficiently close enough to the boundary of first medium, then in some of the cases, the avancent wave it does not decay completely and enters in the second medium, it bends further and continues to move in the ahead direction. And this is what we call as the frustrated total internal refraction. So actually this is how the quantum tunneling happens. I am glad that the classical world does not support this idea of quantum tunneling as I would have been highly uncomfortable in seeing the ghosts round.